everybody, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you some assembly tips on creating these greeting card holders. It's a holder that holds four greeting cards made with designer series paper. I'm using the painted season designer series paper, which the paper is available with a $50, free with a $50 purchase until the end of March. I'm also using the stamp set painted seasons which is available as a bundle with the paper free with a hundred dollar order only till the end of March so you want to take advantage of that which is just a couple days left I'm also using the coordinating framelit the four seasons framelit that coordinates with the stamp set so let's take a peek inside so when you untie the ribbon inside you have four greeting cards that are made with the designer series paper in four envelopes so let me show you how this is done. We need one sheet of designer series paper, as I mentioned, and you are going to need your Simply Scoring tool, which works perfect. So what I did was I cut the designer series paper at nine inches. This remaining three inch piece is what is used to decorate the cards. This is a directional piece of designer series paper, so it will not work for the outside, but it will work for the inside of the holder. So along your nine inch side, what I'm going to do is score it at two and a quarter. With the stylus, I'm using the larger of the two ends. The smaller end will tend to tear your paper. If you are making this from cardstock, you could use the smaller end. But with designer series paper, it's best to use the larger end. The second score is at six and three quarters. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees, and then it's going to be scored at five and three quarters and six and one quarter. Then what I'm going to do is, since this is the inside, I'm gonna have that facing up and bring the sides in. I also like to use the Simply Scoring tool as a guide to push the paper up to get a nice crease. Because I'm using designer series paper, I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'm not going to use a bone folder to crease this. Cardstock, I would use a bone folder, but you don't want to tear the fibers too much on designer series paper. So you're just going to fold those in. Then it gets opened up. These other two score lines are also valley folds. I'm going to fold those both in. And a valley fold is when the fold is shaped like a V. So it's folded like that. Mountain folds would be the opposite of that. So once we have all of those fold, valley folds, we're going to bring these two sides here, or each side, to this side. So we're going to do an angle fold just like that. It's best to put it on the flat surface, and again, use your fingers to make that crease. We want to just bring those two together. That needs to be done on all four corners. So we're going to bring this piece in. You can hopefully see that on the camera, okay? And just use your finger to make that crease. And one last corner. All right, so that we've got that part done. This is a directional piece of paper, so we want this to be the top where the flap is, the flap that's going to cover. If we turn it this way, then our mushrooms are upside down. For that, for the flap, what we have is a four and a half by eight inch piece of cardstock scored at four and four and a half. I did run this through the Big Shot with a subtle folder just to get some texture on that flap. So I just ran that through the Big Shot ahead of time. And also what I like to do is take a little bit of cardstock off of this edge. So I just start up here and just take a little sliver off. That's gonna help um, avoid some bulk in here. I'm going to use the snail adhesive. Since I am adhering this to designer series paper, I just use the snail. If I was using cardstock and cardstock, I would use tear and tape. I am gonna crease this backwards, and I'm gonna just let this be rest on this top of this designer series paper until I make sure that I've got it lined between these two scores, then I can drop it into place. I'm gonna apply adhesive from the corner to the angle on both sides and right across here. Oops. And then bring this side in and bring this side in. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a couple holes on this back flap. I'm gonna use the half inch circle punch 
And what I'm doing is I'm putting this fold down just to be my guide so I'm consistent going across. This is gonna hold the ribbon in. The ribbon is actually um, any ribbon that you're, you wanna use. And what I'm going to use is a 3 8 white woven ribbon for all of them. I have about 25 inches. That's gonna hold that ribbon from falling off when you untie it. And then this side is the same. From the crease to the corner, the angled crease, and across the top here. And put both of these down. And there we have our card holder. Four greeting cards and four envelopes will fit right in here. And as I mentioned, I used the remainder of that designer series paper to decorate the cards. Bring that flap down, tie your ribbon, and you can have fun embellishing these any way you'd like. These will be wonderful gifts. If you found my video via YouTube, you can go to the comment section for a direct link right to my blog post that will have all the supplies along with a PDF that you can download for these projects. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed creating this project with me.